G'day and welcome back to Southern Cross Station and Dark Solar Gaming. Yes, we are back in FS22 here on Southern Cross Station, just finalising our corn harvest here on Field 4. And uh, we're just about to offload the combine for the last little bit. And then we'll be done. The second combine is obviously already finished. Um, so it's just a matter of tidying up. Then we're going to offload and then we're going to come back, rinse, repeat, uh, in setting this field up ready for uh, planting. So... Um, We'll uh, continue on from there. So, lots of stuff to do still. Um, it's not as if we've got nothing to do at all. So, uh, we've got uh, lots of work to continue on with. And uh, we'll get that done as soon as we can. The sooner we can turn things around, the better off we're going to be. So, we'll just uh, slot in here. Offload uh, the rest of his load in the combine. And then we'll be, be good. Right. Hope everyone is doing well. We are doing very well here. We are very happy to be back here on a Southern Cross Station. Uh, now this map has recently, um, certainly since I first started on the map, has recently been added to the in-game mod hub and is available for our console players as well as PC players. So um, I hope you're enjoying the map as well. I know there's a few people I have commented on my series that uh, we're want waiting for it to come to console and hoping for it and end up doing that. And I know there's a couple... Jim Madness, I think, is one of them that was, um, from if I recall, said that uh, he was enjoying the map currently. So um, I hope you're enjoying it. If you are, let me know. Um, I think I asked you that in the last episode as well. But, uh, yeah, let me know if you're enjoying the map because um, I think it's a pretty damn good map for myself. All right, let's put the pipe out. We're going to offload. Um, I'll then probably take the truck back and offload that first and then we'll come back and get all the other gear and bring it back to the farm and then we'll bring a tractor out here with a cultivator and we'll um we'll clean up and reset this field like what we'll do is while we're doing that i might just grab one of the combines and take that back now anyway all right where are we come on there we go all right. He's all folded up, ready to go. And we can just take him back and put him away. All right. So what's next, he says. Well, we've, like I said, we've got to turn this field around. Um, and then it's a matter of waiting for these two fields over yonder. Um, the soybean field and the um, sugar beet field. To be ready to harvest and uh, apart from that it's just hurry up and wait with everything else um, the other fields I think we've got wheat fields running on the first couple of fields we actually harvested on the map um, they are over there uh, growing but I think we've got some time before they're going to be ready but certainly the soybeans and the sugar beets are the next um, crops we're expecting to be ready to harvest so uh, there's that plus also hopefully some grass will be ready for us to to mow and supplement our silage and hay production as well. <clears throat> right. Good thing about the corn headers, we can just fold them up. And then uh, continue on our merry way instead of having to worry about putting them on a trailer or folding them up and tying them or anything. So it makes it life a little bit easier in that regard. I don't need these uh, this, these combines for the soybeans. I certainly don't need them for the um, sugar beet, so we'll put that away. Sugar beet's not something we're going to probably really do too much of. Um... Been got a bit of that going on the other on the old creek. Um, we may just sort of shuffle between the two of them here and there. Uh, we'll see how things pan out with that. But for the interim, instead of taking this all the way over where the other combines are parked, I'm just going to park it in this shed over here. And uh, we need to do some cleaning up and all that sort of stuff a little bit later. Um, so we'll just come in here and I'll leave enough room uh, to park the other combine behind. Plus, also leave enough room to get past if we need to. 
There we go. Right. So you're there. Let's uh, bring the other combine in as well. And clear the course off. All right, different view. We'll take this one back in cab. Not much of a view with the header all the way up, though, is there? I'll just lower the header down. Still, not much of a view. We'll get there. Right. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to park this here. After night, the brakes really aren't. Oh, it's just because I'm wearing UGG boots. All right. Don't judge me. I'm wearing hug boots because it's bloody cold. My feet were cold. So, um, in trying to hit the brake, I'm actually hitting the um, accelerator at the same time. That's why I wasn't braking. All right. So, let's just take this back. Um, and we'll get this offloaded into the, the silo. So, we've got 201,000 litres of corn off this field. We'll get this back into the silos and then we'll come back over and we'll pull the rest of the equipment back. In fact, before we even pull the equipment back, we'll grab one of the other tractors with one of the cultivators and we'll bring that over and get him started on cultivating. And then while he's cultivating the field, we can be off uh, moving all the other equipment back um, to the farm and, and getting other stuff ready. So, hmm. I have grown, grown quite fond of these trailers um, with the the rear steering, so they do they do follow very closely, especially in a road train configuration, which is which is great. Um, but still, do love my lusty trailers. Well, we don't have any on this uh, on this series though. Unload the first trailer. And the second trailer. Maybe see what we've got stored in the silo now. We've we're starting to get a build up of crop. So uh, as you can see, you know, the corn's counting up there. We got thousand, oh, almost a million liters of potatoes. I forgot we've already done potatoes. Um, I don't know what we're gonna do with potatoes, but anyway, um, just have to sell them. Um, uh, when's I wonder when the price fluctuation is. So July. July is about the best time. Okay. Um, all right, so um, very soon for those. Now that's done. So we can pull the truck out of the way. I can have any extra his brother. Mother, mother. All right. That is done. Right, so now back to the field. Oh, actually, that's what we're going to do, weren't we? Another tractor. Uh, with the cultivator. Uh, it's a cedars. Um, bum, bum, bum. Let's cultivate over there. 
Oh, yeah, probably this. What's this one? Um, yeah, probably take this one. All right, let's get him going. Well, no, 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 no. I wanted to make sure it's disconnected. I just connected it. All right. Take two, he says. So we're going to use the 8RX to go and uh, cultivate him. We've got the turning circle for that. Yeah, we do. Right. We got stuff everywhere. I need to start putting some of this stuff away. Um, we've got plenty of sheds to put stuff into, so I'll need to start sort of tidying up, um, which will get done soon enough. We'll get it all out of the way. So April the 1st, coming into uh, into fall or autumn. Some of the trees have started to uh, lose their, their greenness and going through and um, through the, the stages of decolorization or recolorization, I guess, in another way. Um, lovely oranges and yellows and all that sort of stuff. All right, here we are. So let's just get this guy sorted nice and quickly, get him up and running. So uh, where are we? So we're gonna create job. On this field, we're gonna tell it to go up there that way. And open class, the generator, number of headlands. We're gonna do two headlands. That should be more than enough A smooth. Uh, headland coverage, three. Don't need to go outside the field. There we go. Generate the course. There we go. Right. And he should go off and happily be merry. Right. In the meantime, I'm going to grab this stuff and take it back to the farm. Pop oh. in and off we go. Cover on, and we're good to put it in the storage again until the next harvest. Oh, I've just noticed something. So where I said the um, going to the map was uh, pretty seamless, um, it, it seems we've got a bit of a problem. Now, I don't believe these are going to be removable. I'm going to have to go to the game and remove these. So, um, these sheds here need to be removed um, because they're sort of having an impact on my orchard. <laughs> I hadn't noticed those. All right. So there's there's one up normally. Um, everything else was sort of fine. It was just that those three sheds I got to fix. So I will fix those. Um, but yeah, just ignore that for now. Right. Um, oh dear, I can't believe I didn't notice that. To be honest. Anyway, all right. So we're going to come around. I'm going to park this up in here. Again, I'm not putting it away. I know, but. 
That's fine. Go get that combine, bring it back down. Um, boom, boom. There we go. All right. And then we've got everything put away. He's up the top corner coming back down, so it won't take him long to do this uh, this field either. So uh, that'll be fine. And then uh, we can move on to other tasks. What they'll be, I don't know yet. Have to work it out. Maybe it's putting all the equipment away. <clears throat> Now there is another Aussie map coming at some point soon. Nelly Creek will be here. Um, TJ, good mate of ours, and Aussie Farmer are working together. Uh, it's TJ's map, but uh, Aussie's giving him a hand, and uh, hopefully we should see that in the not too distant future. Um, seeing that come together on pretty much daily updates by TJ, and it's looking looking great. So very different. It'll be very different to what you uh, are probably used to. So I'm um, looking forward to that. And you will see that here on the channel. Definitely. Don't like his choice of tractors sometimes, but that's another thing altogether. Anyway, all good. All right, so we're going to bring this guy in as well. There we go. You will do that. Okay. Next. Um, probably grab the fruit and take that down to the processing factory. Um, something we could definitely do. Uh, let's do that. Let's take that down. While we're plowing that field, we'll take that down and um, deliver it. All right. We'll remove those trees. I didn't remove those trees again. Actually, when they came, when we came back in, that's two things I've missed. Well, I'm counting. All right, Go around here. All right, off we go. We'll get in and uh, put these into the pricing factory. Now, Pratt. Oh, no. Right, so we didn't see that, did we? So it needs to be reset, and that's going to be a bugger. Bugger, bugger, bugger. Um, damn it. All right, let's see what this does. Mm. Not happy, Jen. Oh, well, we'll just see what it does. Uh, why can't... Damage 14%. Um... Why won't that let me? Dum 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 dum.
Um, Oh, sure. Why can't I reset that from here? I'm sure I should be able to. Right. I can't. Why? Why that? Let me reset it. Oops, wrong button. Right, this is becoming a bit of a nightmare, isn't it? Okay, now. But let me tab to it. Reset. Okay. Right, so I left the trailers there, which is fine. So we're going to go over and get this again, and we'll try that again. <laughs> that was terrible. Right. We'll try again. <laughs> I'm going to edit that out of the video. No, 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 I'm not. Yet to see everything here, good and bad. That was terrible. Terrible. I'll make sure I don't fall back in the drink again. Come on. Right. Try all that again. I can't believe that. <sighs> right. I know you can. You can believe it. All right. I was just going to say, you know, that I don't need all those all these trailers. I'm, I'm not doing that much production work at the moment. Don't need all these trailers. Uh, and then, of course, instead of my foot hitting the brake, it hit the combination of the brake and the com and the accelerator, as I was explaining just before about my Ugg boots. And then, yeah, that's what what happens. Anyway, so we wasted a good ten minutes on that, but we're underway again. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. <laughs> oh, that was terrible. Terrible, Muriel. It's our mistake for the night, for the day. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Right. Anyway. We'll go up through past Clever Motors and see if we can uh, drop this off at the fac at the processing factory and uh, forgive us for all our sins. Now, I haven't been down here enough now. I don't have, can't remember where we put it. I think it's in here to the right as we come down. There it is there. Right. Right, now, have we actually got it producing anything yet? Doesn't look like it. Uh, production. Right, no, because we need sugar. So we don't have any sugar. That's okay. So we're just stocking stocking it up. Uh, and that's okay. So. All right. It's all well and good. Off we go. We'll get back to the farm. Hopefully we can cross the creek without uh, crashing. Now, what I was going to say about the creek as we crashed is one of the people watching my videos and made a comment on there. Um, sorry, I can't remember who it was now. I'd have to go back and have a look. Um, stated that it seems as though the river level changes um, well creek level changes like if you get a bit of rain the, the, the level rises 
Um, and if that's the case, that is fantastic. I'm just about, hopefully going to find out. Hopefully, um, well, actually, no, it's not good. I mean, if I drive through it like I did just then, I'm, I'm going to be constantly resetting my tractors and trucks or whatever else. Um, so, yeah, I may, I may have to just delete, <laughs> delete the water plane. No, I wouldn't do that. Anyway, um, yeah, so, I mean, if, if that is an actual function that's in the, in the map as well, that is fantastic attention to detail, and I, I'm really looking forward to seeing if that's actually the case. So, um, we, we might well see that sooner rather than later. Uh, and that'd, that'd be fine. I, I don't mind that. I think that's that's the sort of thing. Like if if they can, a modder can bring that attention to detail into a map, then uh, due kudos to them because that's um that's a great addition, certainly. There's no level change there. I might just speed up time while it's raining. Because we're going to transfer over to the next day anyway. Um, I'd just be interested to see if it is changing its level. A fair bit of rain. We'll sort of wait and see. Otherwise, we'll stop at the uh, the morning, and that will be where we end this episode as well. I think because um, it's just a good good as cut off as anywhere. If we don't actually see it, do it here now. If if anyone else has seen it and can confirm. Um, not that I have any doubts about the person that's actually told me, but um, obviously seeing is believing. Um, level doesn't look to have changed there at the moment. May not have been enough rain to trigger it, I understand that, but... Uh, more rain coming so who knows anyway that's going to be it for this episode oh, we're going to cross the river now hopefully not embarrass ourselves again um yeah so thanks very much for watching hope you enjoyed the episode um just ignore that part with the creek um and yeah i i do hope you enjoyed it if you uh like the episode press that like button if you didn't press the dislike button um there isn't a splash button so that's okay um and also, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, make sure you press that alarm notification icon as well so you're made aware of when new videos like this are available on the channel. Don't forget to join us on Twitter, Discord, and Facebook. All the details are down below in the comments. And of course, most importantly, take care of yourselves and your loved ones. And we'll see you again very, very soon back here at Dark Solar Gaming and Southern Cross Station. See you all later. Bye.